A police car. So we have King George to thank for preparing a car for me. A pleasant surprise, eh, Zach? Let's take it for a spin. I have to tell you, Zach, this place simply amazes me. The keys were left on the front hood, and nobody stole the car. Values. This town has what the country needs. Values. Let's head over to the Sheriff's Department. those bonus features in DVDs nowadays. You know, the ones from the 80s have almost no bonus material. Even if they do, it's a trailer and the visual quality is pretty bad. Well, that visual quality is a good reminder of those days. So many new audio and visual appliances were coming out back then. Do you remember the first video deck we bought? We bought it to record one of the Star Wars movies on TV. And remember when that video store opened, we spent hours there trying to find a good movie to rent. There weren't that many to choose from back then. I remember renting some really bad ones after reading those back cover taglines. Hey, remember? Attack of the Killer Tomatoes? Filmed in 1978. Produced, directed, written, and edited by John DiBello. It was really awful, but for some reason I still remember it pretty well. It had so many sequels, and the original was re-released in 95. The 87 minute long theatrical release bumped up to a whopping 90 minutes. But that was around the time I joined the Bureau. I never had a chance to see it. I know, Zach. Once this case is over, we can watch it together. I bet we can buy a copy on the internet pretty easily.
Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. And you are? Olivia. Olivia Cormack. Olivia. Now that's a lovely name. Do you think so? You're the only one who's ever said that other than my father and Nick. Oh, it's a very good name. You should be proud of it. There's that famous singer, too, isn't there? from the 70s? She's actually from England, but she's got this really strong image of being an American pop singer. Uh-huh. That's it. Olivia Newton-John. You know of her, right? She's not only a successful singer, she's successful as an actress, too. Personally, I really liked Xanadu back in 1980. She played a cute fairy and just looked amazingly stunning. It's hard to believe she was 32 at the time. Right, Zach? Um, sorry, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Really? That's a shame. You should watch it when you get a chance. You'll learn to love your name. Oh, okay. So, Olivia, do you know anything about Anna that might be helpful to me? Oh, she was a bright and lovely girl. I can't believe she... Did she ever look worried or anxious? No, not really. I just... I, I can't believe it, really. I'm never going to see her again, am I? She was here with us. So happy and energetic just a few days ago. She and I... We were getting all excited over some new dessert. Thank you, then. If you remember anything else, let me know. Hi there.
Hey, I'm working here. You can't just stroll into a chef's kitchen. Then perhaps you would give me your permission to enter. No! Get the hell out of here! Zack, everyone has their own sanctuary. Let's leave him in his. Fine building for such a small town. The exterior woodwork is spectacular. Don't you agree, Zach? Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the Sheriff's Assistant. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no. Just doing my job. I just... I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. I'm sorry. It's just that this is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but... I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay, let me know when things are ready. Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon.